Happy Monday, kids. This is Mr. Gitter here. Uh, today I was going to go outside and go to the baseball diamond, teach you guys a little bit about baseball and softball, but it's raining out, so I am in the gym here, but I got my bat and I got a ball over there. So this week we're going to learn a little bit about the sport of baseball and softball. Uh, today I'm going to go over just a quick little drill with you to go over, and then um, throughout the week I'm going to do some other sorts of uh, baseball and softball activities that you guys can do. So even if it's raining a little bit today, you guys will be able to enjoy this throughout the week, all right? What I'm gonna do first is just explain the positions of baseball and softball, just in case you guys don't know the correct terms or anything like that. So, playing baseball, there are nine positions that are in the field, okay? And I wrote all these nine positions down. This is what the baseball diamond would look like. This down here is home plate. You have to, once you hit the ball, you run to first base, and then you go to second eventually, and if you can, you go to third base. And if you do that and are able to go all the way around and return back to home plate, you get a run. And the team with the most runs wins, so that's what you want to do. Let's go over the positions real quick. So there are nine total um, defensive positions when you're playing baseball. So if you need, want to play a baseball game, a true one, you need nine players. Some, uh, some leagues have ten, but the usual number is nine. So the first position down here is the one that sits behind home plate. That is the catcher. He's got a whole bunch of different gear, and he squats down there, and he catches uh, every single pitch. So he's involved in every single pitch. So that's the catcher. Um, and then the, the one who is throwing it on the mound is the pitcher. And that's the person who um, has control of the game the whole time. They have the ball, and they're the ones throwing it to the catcher, and that's who you got to hit off of. So those are the first two positions. Then we're going to move over here. Uh, there is the first baseman, and then there is the second baseman. They're over on the right side in between first and second base. They're not standing right on the base. They're just a couple feet away from the base, but uh, that's how they're named. And then the third baseman is over here standing next to third base. And then the person that is uh, right next to the third baseman is called the shortstop. So um, if someone tells you to go to shortstop, it's in between second and third base. So that's called the infield. Those are all the people that are playing closest to the plate and that are in the field typically um, on the dirt. And then in the outfield where the grass is, there are three positions. You got three fielders out there who are looking to catch uh, fly balls. There is the left fielder over on the left side. And the, the one in the middle is called the center fielder. And then the one over here is called the right fielder. So those are all nine positions and their jobs out there in the field are to catch any pop-ups in the air and the throw back in the infield. So. Nine positions, here they are again. Pitcher, catcher, first base, second base, shortstop, third base, left field, center, and right field. All right, so don't forget those positions when you guys are playing. And then today I'm just gonna do one quick little drill here and kind of go over how, to, um, how you should be batting when you're hitting the ball, all right? So there's a little technique you should do. I'm gonna rotate the camera here. And I just wanna go over a quick technique about how you should look hitting, all right? So. If you're stepping up to the plate, and this will be a little different because I am left-handed. Most people are right-handed. So, you're stepping up to home plate, and the pitcher is straight ahead of you, facing there. And the catcher would be standing right there, looking to catch the ball. So when you're standing, your feet should be um, going across. It shouldn't be facing the pitcher. It should be facing this way, okay? Your feet are very important. When you are batting, you want to make sure that you take the bat, and when you hold it, you want to line up these knuckles right here so they're like all lined up together, okay? You line up the knuckles. You don't want to go like this. That wouldn't be lined up. That wouldn't be how you hold it. It wouldn't be the best way to hit. And you don't want to squeeze it too hard. You want to hold the bat nice and light. So when you're batting, usually you bend the knees a little bit. You don't want to stand straight up or you're not going to have a lot of power. So you bend the knees a little bit. The bat should not be resting on the shoulder. Uh, it's going to take too long for you to come up and swing it. So when you're batting and you're ready to hit, the bat should be in the air like this. And then your feet are squatting. When the pitch is coming, it's not just all about using your arms to swing like that. You're not gonna have, you're not gonna be a very good hitter, you're not gonna have much power if you do that. So when you're swinging, it's very important that you use your legs and you use your hips to swing too. So um, some players lift up their legs so they have a little more power when it's coming in. Other ones just kinda lightly um, lift it in the air like that but you just want to definitely use your legs to swing and then make sure that your hips also rotate through as you're swinging. And it's got to all be in one fluid motion following through, okay? So I'm going to go run over a little slowly here. 
And hopefully I did that right. So the hips and the knees should all be rotating along with the arms as you follow through, okay? You do not, you want to make sure it's uh, straight as you're swinging it. You don't wanna do it in the air like that. You don't wanna chop at it like this. You want the bat to go through the zone in a straight line, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this ball and let's see if I hit a home run. That's gone, folks, that's gone. All right, so that's how you hit the ball. Practice that, you can practice on a tee, you can have someone throw to you, however you prefer, however you can do it. But um, I want you to try that out and enjoy your week of baseball and softball, kids.